Hi there, here's a great tune, it's called Harvest Home. Um, I first learnt this in the first few weeks of me playing this instrument and uh, my blog number three, uh, which you'll find on Melnet, shows me struggling just with the right hand of this. Um, that was about eight years ago. Hopefully I've improved a bit since then and I'm gonna show you how to play the whole tune today. We're in the key of D major, everything is on the D row, this outside row. All of the bass notes are found on just two buttons because everything is either D major on the push or A major on the pull. So it's just these two buttons here. Key of D major, so two sharps, all the Fs and the Cs. The time signature is 2-2. Two, two. Uh, you can see that at the beginning of the first stave there. And that's called cut common time. And it's a way of showing a fairly quick and complicated tune uh, in a simple way. So really, when we play this, we're showing that as quavers, really that should be semi-quavers, but it makes it look really complicated if we do that. So we do it in 2-2, two, two. just think of it as 4-4. Four, four. Um, I put a couple of tempos up here, 130 um, is probably the ideal one, and 105 uh, beats per minute is probably a good setting when you're learning the tune. So we're going to start with this pickup bar, bar naught as we call it, and we are in pos H position home. This is a fourth button start instrument, so the fourth button down on the D row, on the push is D. Okay, so we're in that, in that position there. So finger three will give us the note A, and finger two will give us the note F sharp on the push. Now, right at the top here, it says, um, Harvest Home DG Melodian with a swing not as written, because as written, this sounds like this. We're going to play it. Can you hear it's got that kind of rumpty tumpty feel? And again, it looks horribly complicated if you write it out with either triplets or loads of you know dotted quavers, semi quavers. So, although it's written as quavers, we actually play it like this all the way through. Okay, and you'll you'll hear that as I play it anyway. So you're going to count um, one and two. And uh, like that one and two, and you go in. So NC means no chord. You can see that uh, above the stave here. NC, no chord, no accompaniment, just the right hand all on its own. Um, and then you're into uh, the A section, and that's on the next stave. So let's just move down a little bit. So with bar number one, you can see a repeat sign, thick line, thin line, two dots. We're going to come back to this point later on in the tune. Uh, you can see the A in the square, reminding you that it is the A section. You can see this sign, uh, which is called the senyo. Again, that's a repeat sign. We're going to come back to this point. Um, it all helps us find our way around the tune. Um, and you can see the right hand, the tune, goes like this. Like I said, the way it's written is... Okay. Uh, you count that one and two and three and four and if you were in four four with two two you've got two main beats they've got this beat and then this beat so, so it's one two okay but I think it's easy just to count it as a four four and count it one a two a three a four uh, okay I'm not going to keep going on about that that's basically uh, the way to count it so we've got everything on the push so we have D, A, F sharp, A, and the same again. And, and the whole thing is very short, very staccato. You, know, you don't have to hold on to anything. Finger one, finger three, finger two, finger three. Um, and while you're doing that, you're going to play um, with your left hand. D bass, D chord, D bass, D chord. When I want you to play D basses on the push, I always put asterisks by them. It's these top two buttons here. So D bass, that's the capital D. D chord, that's the lowercase d. And it's simply... So you're going to count it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. So you can see where the chords come. It's on every other quaver. 
Okay, so pretty straightforward. 